Uh, this is a hack the workstation mission. 13 enemies. Possible warlock. Uh, bringing Sempre and Variable. Um, also Big Shot and Sandman. Since uh, the Reapers are the faction rival to the Warlock. And uh, second. Got to make sure the uh, app is running. Apologize for the delay here. Okay, everything's up and running now. Um, I was going to send the two poles, but the one is out injured. However, I'm sending his Templar uh, uh, bond mate. She looks a little different. I took her helmet off. and uh, Now maybe I won't mistake her for a dude the rest of this campaign, even though her face uh, did get terrible scars assigned to her at some point from a uh, grave, gravely wounded scars uh, add-on. Whatever. Scars just make you look tough. Um, brought a lot of explosives. I have uh, war suit, war suit, and uh, grenadier, also my technical over here of the rage suit. And that's because, because the um, Warlock is vulnerable to explosives. This is one weakness. So without further ado, here we go. We can really use this intel as well. So, Oh, filling in for the Polish medic, since he shakes is his name. Um, Armstrong is filling in. He may look a little different. That's because since he's an officer now, I took his helmet off. He looked... He kept... I kept mixing him up with uh, two of my other dudes. So, uh, here we go. Guy Ranger in position for deployment. Dr. Tigan has picked up indications of an exposed access point along the Advent network near here. And 
We may be able to use it to recover data crucial to the alien's latest project. As always, there's a catch. The terminal is on board one of their transport trains passing through the area. We'll need to move in quickly, secure the train, and eliminate any hostiles. If we can do that, Looks like we have a stun lancer with us, double this agent. Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Oh wow, we could stick to this uh, hill the whole way over. This might turn out to be a very uh, easy setup. says I am to obey. The target is marked. There's an alien patrol nearby. Of course there's some jackass civilians hanging out over here. What the hell are they doing out in the middle of nowhere? <clears throat> Having a kegger out, out in the middle of nowhere? Actually, I don't know why he did that. He does not have ever vigilant. Oh well, I just won't start the battle this turn. Confirmed. No problem. Right. Okay, this guy, on the other hand, does have ever vigilance, so would have been better to have run. Better to have run. Run! I mean, ran him up. I'm very tired today. Probably won't get many missions in. Can't even speak straight. I'm moving. I will reposition. No place for you to go now. Oh crap. They have a patrol moving here. Well, these two guys can be problematic. So I see seven of the thirteen enemies. The turrets don't count towards the uh, shadow chamber estimate. As you direct. I am a total idiot. I ran my sniper down here. I meant to run my assaulter down. The I gave him uh, the hunter's uh, dark lance. It's very similar looking to uh, the Arashi. Uh, what an idiot! Location confirmed. This one's off to kind of a clumsy start. We'll see how it goes. Okay, at least they're moving away for now. There 
was nowhere to hide. I'm trying to remember if he he does have fail safe. Fail safe is if you fail a hack, you prevent any negative effects from occurring. I just don't really I don't know if it really works. I know it does on it I forgot what it was I was hacking, but it worked on something. He's kind of close. I better move him back. So I kind of got to start this battle. My only fear is during the scatter. Okay, yeah, I want to at least move him away from that ladder. Move him to there. I'll put this homing mine on the uh, shield bearer. Actually, do I need to do that? You might be able to just snipe him. He has armor piercing. If I dead eye him. start this off. Okay. Finally. So now I have to worry about that shield bearer. Twelve enemies left. Ah, close combat. That would have been nice if it had hit. I'll get him next time. I wonder if I can hack that turret. I could just burn that guy to toast. If I use, I'm gonna try this quick burn. Activate. He just got this when he ranked up last. Activate so your next use of the flamethrower will not cost an action. Set him on fire. Time to burn. A 
if I dead eye him. Ah, he's still not quite wounded enough. And he does have salvo. So this won't end his turn. I'm gonna take out their cover. That will multiply, uh I can set this in a way that won't hit the codex. Let's try this. I said I don't want to multiply the codex if it's not going to kill him. For Christ's sake, no! <laughs> so I took out half his cover. You have chain shot. Also does an insane amount of damage. Okay, can you score any kills? Oh, he has no cover. 100% this will kill him. Go for it. Death from above. Might save him for that turret. Which... I'll have him shoot that. Actually, I should save him for... If he hits him, he kills him. I want to test if the first pistol shot, because I keep forgetting to look it up, I don't think it ends her turn. If it's her first action. Good shot, too. Okay, yeah, now we know for sure it doesn't. Late game snipers are so unstoppable. The Dark Lance is such a phenomenal weapon. So the free reloads, superior scope, superior auto loader. Uh, it's just, ah, it's got so much good stuff. I'll save him for a finisher again. Did he go yet? He hasn't gone yet. He might just kill, if he hits this guy, he'll just kill him. Beautiful. That will do it. So we're down to nine enemies left. Ha oh, oh, because he has blue screen. That's why. It's really tempting to hack that. I'm going to go ahead and try to hack it. This is a good test to fail safe. If it doesn't work, and fail safe doesn't work, it's only got two hit points left. So this will act, probably activate a few more pods. We're in. That looks like it did it. I'm gonna move her up, so wait for that fire. So she doesn't catch me. Oh crap, he's in the flame. No, he's not. On my way. I 
think I'll move him to here. I am trusting you. Didn't even have to use the claymore. Covering now. Copy that. Oh, he gets to go this turn? Yeah, go for it. Hopefully he just shoots at the turret. Oh, he still got a shot. Oh, beautiful. And the hair trigger just went off. Good grief. This has been a very productive turn. Four enemies killed. One turret destroyed, the other hacked. And it'll draw their fire. Some, uh, somewhere else. He's pretty burrowed in there. If he gets a little closer, I might be able to get that claymore on him. about that far, so if I move him to about here. I go where I am needed. It's so tempting to just end that guy right now. How does Koopy Curry work again? They gotta have less than half hit points. It'd be much more useful early in the game, but they're at less than half hit points this late of the game. One shot will kill them anyway. So I'm wondering if he can get the blaster launcher to hit here. Yes. Got this. And that'll set off the claymore as well. And shred pretty much almost all of his armor. Oh, I forgot, he has Salvo now too, so that doesn't end his turn. for the one in five. And go for it again. Grapple over. Yes, he can. Beautiful. 
up here. This should give him some better sight lines. Nice, got a critical too. set an overwatch trap for these jerks. I just don't want him to move and fire that area effect. Acid. How far can you shoot a grenade, buddy? You can almost reach. That sucked. Okay. <laughs> At least he's still here. I forgot this is his spawn mate, not the other way around. Keep your shit together. You hear me? <laughs> Alright, you get both of them. Do it. Hold on to your neckers, lads! So, eight enemies left. Six points. He had one more grenade left, right? He does. I'm gonna go ahead and give him that second turn. Roger that. Oh, you can actually shoot him with that? I kind of want to save this shred gun, though, for the, uh, gatekeeper. That's a boat bloody fucking time. <laughs> okay, does anybody have a stock or something that can get close enough? Try this. If she can use if she can get him with Volt. That'll finish him. I will finish this form. The mark yep. betrays you. Now the suit is dumb, uh, and I have a feeling it'll run f for the turret, hopefully.
Position confirmed. Moving to Overwatch. If I run him up. He has close combat specialist as well, so he has to melee if he gets close. So Overwatch, Overwatch. should get two Overwatch shots out of this. Scanning. Huh? I think he just joined that pod. So this will activate him. Come on, focus. You will never hide from me. I think he's just really confused. I'm okay with this. Okay, I got four turns to hack this. Because of the positioning of that stupid uh, computer, I think I. I'm going to have her run to here. Oh, that'll activate them. I'm going to do it. I want to gather this loot. And then I'll have her rend finish this off. Okay, this won't activate them. doing this to rebuild her rin and that's its hack is gonna it's gonna end the hack soon anyway. Hopefully they run through the uh, acid would be nice. Well two of them did anyway. I wanted to save it for the uh, gatekeeper, but you know what? I gotta, gotta shoot these guys. A 
Making sure my Reaper was out of line of sight. Oh, wow. That works with Salvo as well. Yeah, go for it. Double do it. He does a lot of damage with that now. And he has both actions. I could only problem with this bastard, I could see him blowing up and taking out the computer if we need to hack. So I want to avoid that. Stock damage will take out. Just whittle him down. He may be burrowed in in deep cover, but. Air trigger went off. So let's start whittling down this uh, priest. Missed the target. And the nice thing about that. Ah, it's too bad he can't see him. I wonder if we should needle him. Give him one more turn. Keep going. <sighs> Come on. Run and try on ammo. I'm going to go ahead and use needle or sting. So the shock guaranteed to remain in shadow, just to whittle him down a bit. Vigilant to hear. Do you have a stock? He doesn't. I'll have him ever vigilant to that full cover. And you go ahead and overwatch. Nice! <laughs> okay. I'm happy of him getting off of there. Don't get by the computer. Don't get by the... You son of a bitch. Menace 1-5. The advent network is almost entirely locked down. We're running out of time. Get to that terminal. I wonder if I could get my assaulter to just arc throw on that guy. I mean, if I paralyze him. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here? Scout over here. I'm sure the uh, I knew it.
I know for sure I want the homing mine on the gatekeeper. One of the Reaper's many marks. I think that's the last group there, too. Ah, it's so tempting. He's got such good sight lines on him. Okay, you can run to there. And not activate? Well, that was pretty lame. Target's still up. I wonder, okay. Go ahead and Got move to there. I gotta hack it in the next turn or two. I was hoping to do is move everybody away, hack it. I was hoping he'd get disoriented. We can hack this, then move away, and he'd have to leave that position. I don't want him blowing up, because I think if he blows up, even after you hack it, if he blows up and destroys it, even though you hacked it, I believe it still fails the mission. Going. Have her vigilant move. I think he just blows up directly the three spaces around, but I've seen objects one space away from, if they're adjacent to the explosive effect area, I've seen terrain get destroyed. I don't want to shoot him. Supposedly that won't activate anything, so I'm going to move her up. My senses are keen. He shouldn't have line of sight to him unless he hops out, so... Oh, but he's going to close combat specialist him. I have a bad feeling we're going to probably blow up the freaking computer. God dang it. Got it. Get him up to where he can... Uh... Hopefully, he can use that second blaster bomb on the uh, pod over here. How many free reloads? He has one left. I'm gonna go ahead and. What are his hit odds? 100%. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and rest weapon though for plus 20 aim. Yeah, what is it? The aim penalty? It's still 100%. 84 on the plus 20 will overcome. A rest weapon. Just go ahead and reload. I don't want them to shoot him next to the computer. Maybe he'll jump out. God damn it! Get away from it, you asshole! We're not going to be able to get this computer, I don't think. Oh wow, Chain Lightning. I thought it would be on the same cooldown as the regular Arc Pulsar. He can't hack it from a distance. Let's 
see if we can get this the blaster bomb. Too close to the Reaper. Does he have the other... he didn't use it. Um, I put the homing mine on him. It'll hit all four of them. Targeting on the gatekeeper. Just make it a hundred percent with the uh, dead eye. didn't kill him. Now I have two hit points left. I could kill both of them. Reaper's out of the way. It's bugged on the targeting. Go for it, close enough. It could spread up to a tile, so it might miss the gatekeeper. Target neutralized. Excellent, and it did get the gatekeeper shredding his armor. her momentum move to get her clear of it. Only the armor. The objective is close now. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. You go over here to cover. His stock damage, even if he misses, should kill that. kill him too though. Oh wait. This won't reveal him. Cause it's a kill. And I'm gonna just run him to here. Standing in the open as an inviting target as possible to him. Oh. Sorry to have you get set on fire. Good to go. And it will wound him. Won't be flawless mission. But if he draws him away from the computer, next turn I can move somebody over and hack it. And 
hopefully blow him up away from the damn thing. I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me. I'm sure that sounded brilliant over the microphone. Actually gonna hunker him down. My biggest fear is him overwatching him right as he jumps out. Roger. I'm just trying to bait him out here. I don't think he can even hack the terminal, so. him as bait. Get away from the t friggin' terminal. Okay, yes. Yes! Sorry, buddy. You won't die. Even better, he didn't even hit him. Okay, shut up, Bradford, or I'm gonna shoot you when I get back. I think he can even get to where... Oh, come on. There's gotta be somewhere he can get... I wanted him to hack it so he can get the best bonus. Well, in that case, I think you have the next best hack at 45. As you order, Commander. At least we got the damn suicide bomber away from it. Yeah, I'll go for that one. Hey, got it. What's funny, though, is I think whatever's being researched <laughs> only has like two or three days left anyway. Whatever. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. This might sting a little! Okay, that's another way I can deal with him. I guess it's a good thing he didn't go for the uh, hack anyway. What a loser. Can't get through. Wow, but he really, uh, sure you can uppercut him Street Fighter 2 style up on there. That, that was uh, kind of in intense, not in like a, uh, oh man, I'm going to lose people, but I really was afraid that stupid purifier was going to get blown up by the workstation. And while it's loading, I'm going to go get a drink. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents.
work out there, Commander. We're one step closer to taking back our planet. Now, I think she can promote because long war classes have Brigadier rank. But the uh, Watsi heroes only get up to Colonel anyway. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts continue to bolster the resistance movement across the globe. Uh, if that cut that in half, good grief. Is that really 18 days? I got intel again, finally. Can't remember if I uh, already went to the market in a bottom area. I also need to be saving the intel up for the uh, radio, st the TV station assault. Because you have various options you can purchase with the intel on it. That are random every playthrough. What appear I already did. set back the aliens work on the avatar project we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible <sighs> is this the one with no. this one okay this is the one where the archon king is at i'm tempted to attack that one just so i can eventually kill him and get his armor. It'd be great for my sniper on the final mission. I'll go Avengers gather some intel until the bullpups are done. Everybody will be rested up then and uh, I'll attack that facility. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. With a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back into it. Right now he is a brigadier. So what do you get at brigadier level? That one for the free. Ooh, that'd be a nice one to take. That'd be really nice to have. Lose their actions on the turn, the hack effect ends. I'm gonna take that one. I'm gonna spend his AP on that. That's why I destroyed that turret, even though I had it hacked, because I hate when uh, the hack, you never know when it will lose effect, and then they get to take their turn. That sounds like that counteracts that. This guy is a brigadier. I always, uh, X -com. I always get my brigadiers the XCOM beret.
It looks kind of weird on the beret, but it fits. Maybe I should just leave that little... Nah. I'd almost give that to him if it didn't clip on this side. promotion. I don't need any more engineers though. Ah, if he wasn't tired I'd send Big Shot because he's definitely the sniper I'm gonna send. drop is the next day. Dang it, I was just going to wait five days and then start the operation. But when the supply drop happens, your resist all the missions available, available operations, reset to become new ones. Once your uh, people hit Colonel, your Skirmishers, Templar, and Reapers can't really increase their... ...abilities anymore. Well, it's always good to lower... six days and I could use another resistance contact. I don't have enough to uh, contact the whole world if I wanted to. Coming in for you now, Commander. 
You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Might actually rather than go for that facility, I should just finish him off next. That wouldn't be that bad. Oh, unless it's when they, after they scuttle. Because if they just went go into Overwatch in the open, then they're sitting ducks. any Illyrium for sale. So I can upgrade some things. The market is open. It's a few. Oh, it was the gunner. The market is open. Can't afford him anyway. I apologize for the sniffling. I'm sure the microphone's picking it up. New orders, Commander. Got a little bit of a cold. I do want to upgrade because he's going on the last mission. Probably get his. No, I don't need to upgrade. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Word is, we've got a new trick or two available, Commander. Oh, Maybe I could we can use give them that. A try. However, check and see if there's any promotion rewards first. That's an easy promotion. Might go for that one. There's a promotion there, too. It's only six days. We don't need an engineer. Nine days, get alien loot. Six days. I'm gonna do this one, I only have to send one person. I'm not gonna need that soldier, but this gets, uh... oh come on, one day. Just gotta wait one day for him to not be tired. Commander, 
We should make use of the ring facility and deploy our idle soldiers okay, on a yes, covert ready. action with the resistance. Alien loot would be nice, but I'm gonna go for this one because less personnel needed to go on and it's one day. You know what? I will send a soldier to avoid wounds. I'll just send this guy. Zero risk on it. And then he'll be a brigadier. After the warlock. Only really funny thing is if I go after the warlock now with my Reaper, the bond mate is on like ah, I'll wait for big shot to come back. I'm sure we'll get a mission, Gorilla Op or something will come up before then. Landed UFO, okay. This could be a good chance to get a lot of Illyrium too. Sectopod, 13 enemies. Setting course for the Western European Ward. I'll send him. He'll be a good scout. He's probably going to end up going on the final mission, too. He's insane willpower. Why does he have such high will? Oh, well, because I gave him a will PCS. But man, even without that, he'd have like eight more will than she does.
And I'm about to have a sneezing fit, so I'm gonna mute for a moment. Okay, sneezing fit is over. Microphone back on. You know, I'm going to give him the legacy, uh... If any of you are watching this, possibly and wondering, how is he getting the Legacy armor in pieces? It's a uh, mod that was just released today called uh, Modular Legacy Armor.
kind of looks weird with his knife coming out the back, but he can deal with it. He almost looks human. because he has a human nose. That's weird. That helmet shades his nose out for a human one. Finally, a gunner go in on a mission. Okay, tracer rounds. How is weapon upgrades? Extended mag, advanced scope. Everybody was set, but no. These guys still need gear. As long as I gave the shinobi, yeah, he has a wraith, he has a wraith, he has a war suit, war suit. I think I'm sad. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hey, 
Your deploy in position to drop. That's why I wait for this long loading screen. I'm gonna get a snack. I shall return. Sorry for the delay. Say sorry. You can always fast forward on YouTube. Menace one five UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area. Neutralize all hostiles. Nice, the, f the, uh, the farm. I'm happy with this. This is very nostalgic. It's kind of like the uh, enemy within map. You could get a uh, shot down a uh, UFO crash site. Only well, this time it's a landed uh, sh shot down one, but you got the barn, you got the. Uh, this is good. Come on! He has... 
hyper vigilant, so. And that was kind of a dumb move. Not this one, but with the skirmisher. Uh, maybe not. I can have her vigilant move him up Copy there. That. Only thing I don't like about this map is I got the biome I hate, which is the uh, alien biome where it's just covered with this purple, ugly ground and the shitty weeds everywhere. Plus, I notice, uh, it's putting the regular grass, and it's like, uh, looks weird. It clashes. Hopefully I'll be able to put him up on, uh, Throw in the hook. that roof. Sightlines the entire map from up there of squad site. Well, almost the whole map, not inside the UFO or directly behind it, which is just the uh, back corner of the map anyway. Roger that. I'm gonna risk running him up there because he has a second action. Do you see anything up there? He doesn't. Here comes a sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! A long run. Man, she has insane movement. He has crazy good movement too, actually. Please don't reveal, please don't reveal. I might have messed that up.
Okay, no multiplying for you. That's right. Oh yeah, I don't want to refill him. What am I doing? Ah, of course it'll activate that group if I do that. This is just a scouting move. Might pull it back. I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at their flight computer. Ours could probably use some updates. Oh, nice. You can see him from there. I move. Seventy, or you can just do hail of bullets, which is guaranteed hit, which I'll go for the guaranteed. End him in the open because I'm gonna risk. I, I'm sure I can kill that guy this turn. That works too. I was just gonna hollow target him. Steady weapon. Should be eleven enemies left. Menace one five. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's some kind of distress beacon. Only four. Oh, we that's need to get bold. inside that ship and shut down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Forgot all about that. It's been so long since I've had one of these missions. That once you uh, break concealment, it starts a timer. Interceptors and enemy unknown. Oh, great place to take cover, moron. Oh, he's fucked. Ah, if only I could do it without running into the fire. Yeah, might as well get closer. Okay, 
nine enemies left. I'm going to take its word on this. It better not be lying. That that's not going to activate anybody. So it is decided. Get that. Sweet, sweet focus. Try to get you up as close as I can. If I remember right, deactivate the distress beacon is just destroy the damn thing. I guess he could close the door. Would have been an idea. Got it. So if I can close in, I could get go, some go, grenades go. and shit in there. I apologize for the French. I've dropped an F bomb and now the S, S bomb. So risky. The power supply on this ship is likely to be a newer variation of the Illyrium core driving the Avengers systems. Mimic beacon ready. I think I'll try to run somebody up. Not him, though. Okay, let's see what happens here. I think I'm going to run her up because she's so fast. Hi, guys. extra turns too. First though, oh, let's do it. You will go. Kidding and only did that? Oh you can hack it? In that case, shoot, if I had known that. Blow his cover up? Oh, it's rent.
I'm going to face off, and then I'll give her a turn. I have one more turn, and then I can have him hack next turn. One after another, you fall. Nice shots. Nice. Okay, my first shot, I'll just shoot that. Or actually. Finish him. Did you see that one? Hopefully this will take his cover out. Yeah, it didn't take the cover out. Gonna need to reload soon. Be seven enemies left. Oh, he still has both actions. Scout over here, see what's... Okay, that looks good. I'll give Copy. one teamwork to her, she'll finish him off, and then he'll run up to where he's line of sight to hack it with his drone. that didn't activate this pod, but I think it did. Oh, he can hack it from here, it says. Okay, so you're going to move to there. And I am going to go ahead and... down to here. He Copy does have that. some sight lines. I'm probably going to have him use the Mimic Beacon. Okay, somebody's going to get Shadow Bound. That's the way it is. Bummer.
I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a sweat blast. Just to weaken him. Nice shot. Let me try this. I can't believe that worked. Ninety percent or a hundred ball, take the hundred percent, of course. plays out. Oh yeah, tactical analysis. I really hate that teleporting ability. Especially since it's free. It's a, it, absolute garbage. What? Well, I have to hack the distress beacon now. I think it ends his turn when he hacks, but we're gonna find out. UAV away. Otherwise I'd move him and then do it. I'm hoping that this doesn't end his turn and they can move out of the cyborg. We'll do that one. Oh hi uh hi Agent 17. So I had one turn left to do that, so I had to do that this turn. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Good, it didn't end his turn. And of course he doesn't have a line of sight on anything now. Purifier, I didn't even see him. Mech, sec deploy. I do have a mimic beacon, which is definitely going to be coming into play. Oh, definitely having fun with it. This is uh, probably one of my favorite games of the past five years. This is actually my uh, fifth or sixth playthrough of the game. It's one of the things that's really enjoyable about it is you can play it multiple times and it's always different. A free ability once permission, so I'm gonna go ahead and well if I run up closer. He doesn't have an auto loader, dang it. Oh, this is a frustrating setup at the moment. So everybody's guns are unloading so that psi bomb. Can I get 
Okay, I can get both mechs, robot units of this EMP bomb there, so I'm going to do it. And it won't hurt my own person, because uh, EMP doesn't hurt biological. Would have been, what would have been really nice, sometimes it uh, paralyzes them for a turn. Hope to see you then. Hopefully I will have figured out this uh, little puzzle of a battle by then. <laughs> okay, so this guy has two hit points left. I should be able to finish him with somebody. Okay, you can see somebody from there. Ah, we have 37% chance. I'm going. Okay, he has to get out of the side bomb. He does have his shotgun too. I'm going to try Frostbite. I didn't think it would work on him. 80% chance. It's once per mission. Nice. Okay. And I think... My sniper's hollow targeter is available. And it is, so that'll raise the hit odds by 10% for the squad. So his 80% with his double barrel shotgun is now 90. I'm just going to go for it. This is a once permission thing you can do too. Grazed! Uh, with only one hit point. That's a little frustrating. Okay, who all do I have here? I forgot he just got capacitor discharge. The range is not all that great on it. Probably time to have him reveal. I'm gonna have him get rid of this shield bearer. better cover, because I forgot he has a whirlwind. Actually, it's pretty good cover where he's at. Okay, does he still have line of sight on him? I think he does. Does he have a stock? He has a stock. So here's what I'm going to do. I think I solved this. For his first... Oh, no. Wait, yeah, I have... Okay, teamwork. Give him a turn. He'll use this turn or that to reload. Oh, yeah. And 
I don't want him in this cloud. But his grapple is ready, so I will move him up here. Since the uh, sectopod is frozen now. And that's a free action, the grappling hook. Advanced teamwork. He'll give his second turn to him. He's reloaded and he has a stock. All he got to do is one damage. And that guy's dead. to get out of this murder cloud, so I'll just run him to full cover. Steady weapon. And... Oh, this person still needs to go. deal with is that purifier this turn and they can't they don't do all that much damage even on a good day he only lost one action for being frozen he, okay this is bad the sectopod might get a shot because I think they get three actions tactical analysis takes away an action frozen took away one electrocute his own guy. Oh, he hurt himself. He electrocuted that uh, barrel and it exploded on him. Why is he getting all these damn actions? He was frozen and... Maybe Sectopods have four actions. I thought they got three. Whatever. Grr. Okay, so he has to move. Grapple to somewhere. Oh, Throwing grapple on. up there. I didn't realize it was like a skylight. His first shot on a turn doesn't end his. Uh, and this is technically his first action. First, though, do I have. Should be outside of the Wrath Cannons area. I'm gonna use the Shred Cannon, shred some of that armor. Ah, is there any way I can shoot without hitting my own people though? It looks like that's safe. Heck, I might even be able to turn it and get... Nope. I thought I could maybe get the Purifier and the Sectopod. So this will shred some of that armor off. Okay, I got a 100% hit chance from here, because a 20 for height advantage, plus 17 for how close I am. And he has blue screen rounds, which do double damage on... Uh, Target. Minimal damage. I might just finish him off. Do it. How about that? Try. Okay, so now we just have to deal with this stupid purifier. Momentum to get away from him because if he dies, there's a 50% chance he'll explode. Run over here and pick up this loot with a momentum move. Got an Illyrium core and a superior expanded magazine. That's good. I 
we had a regular rifle and not the uh, submachine gun, this would be a kill shot, but this does less damage. Where am I? Okay, there he is. Reloading ammunition. I forgot he has three free reloads, so do that. No, he doesn't have three free reloads. Why is that? Why does he have a bullpup with no... For some reason he doesn't have his, uh... Huh. I'll have to fix that in the barracks. He doesn't have his gun. Okay. His line of sight from here. Ah, you got him. Only the best. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Well, it'll be interesting to see how much loot I get as I blew the flying saucer to pieces. <laughs> today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. Well, I got out of that situation way better than I thought I would. No, no wounds or anything. It's kind of the bell curve of this game. You start off the game's very difficult. And, uh, actually isn't much of a bell curve. If it was a bell curve, it'd be difficult, then easy, then difficult. Um, it's really hard, then it's easy, then it's kind of hard again, and then at the end of the game, you just have super soldiers, it gets really easy. The final mission, though, could still be pretty tough, especially when you get to that to the final room. Let's hope they all go that smooth, Commander. Great work. I need two promotions. Well, this one don't count because <laughs> I'm using <clears throat> I'm using long war classes, which goes up to Brigadier. But the Templar, Skirmisher, and Reapers, they still are just default War of the Chosen, so they only go to Colonel. So they can get a promotion to General, or Brigadier, but they don't actually have a Brigadier rank. However, my Grenadier did level up. And why can I not highlight... There you go. Uh, extra range is nice, but Salvo is the best ability of these three. Basically, if you launch a grenade or fire a, a wrist-mounted uh, attack with your first action, it doesn't end your turn, so you can end up launching two grenades or a rocket on a grenade or vice versa. Nice, lots of Illyrium. And yeah, you know what? I will improve their bond. I 
think that's a bug, because he had that a long time ago, but he was cured of it. Yeah, it's not there anymore. I've noticed uh, a little bug where if you cure one of their negative traits, every time they level up their bond with their teammate, it tells you they have it again, even though they don't. Okay, let's see what I can hey, buy Commander. now. It's the most Illyrium I've had for a while. I'm gonna upgrade the Serpent Armor. I have enough. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I have not used the spark the entire campaign. Because he fell behind the uh, technology curve. I still have enough Illyrium for another upgrade. tempted to upgrade this. I'm gonna do it. <sighs> Though instead of doing that, I probably should have bought another war, war suit or wraith suit. Oh well. Scans are 50% faster because of that hack reward for one month, so I, get, I think I will start going after these. Mysterious Stranger. This will prove to have been an important breakthrough. And that reminds me, I need to, I forgot to, his bullpup was switched out. One day, go for it. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Yeah, why were you not using your gun? And that breakthrough made it where there's an additional slot, so... What do I want to put there? Put a superior hair trigger. It's 20% chance with every shot that it will not cost an action. You get a lot of shots in with these guys if you get lucky. Actually, though, that superior hair trigger, I'm going to put it on the spark. Actually, the superior auto loader would be a better for him. That'll basically mean he can take nine shots before he has to do a reload. Because if I do the superior magazine, it would be seven shots, then he has to reload. I mean, technically, he reloads at the superior reloader, but it's a free action, so. between 
giving him this repeater. Or even just giving him a superior expanded magazine. Give him the repeater for now. And actually, that superior extended magazine I want on him. is a magazine size of seven so banish that seven shots each with a 20% chance to kill the target it's very nice on the final <coughs> final mission when you face the three avatars you basically can use banish to guarantee kill one of the avatars okay and on your new available weapon slot go on a mission. <laughs> Maybe. War might be over before he even does that. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Greetings, Commander. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. Start that one, but this might be a good time to... that one. I don't remember what smart micro badges uh, do. Oh, it reduces wound recovery time. That gives immunity to acid and poison. I don't know if I can do that tonight. I hate I hate to be a spoil sport, but I really gotta go to bed pretty soon. However, tomorrow I will do that. Right now I think I'm just gonna <sighs> I'm at like kind of a good point to quit for the night. I just feel bad because I have an audience. All my people are rested up. I actually need to, kind of wanted to kill the warlock tonight, but I, I really got to go to bed. Yeah, I'm so sorry, everybody, but I'm gonna I am gonna have to go to bed. I gotta wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow. But tomorrow night, about the same time, I will be on. I'm going to definitely... Tomorrow's plan is to kill the Warlock. After the Warlock is dead, I think we're going to hit this facility over in East Asia to activate the alien ruler there, who I know is the Archon King. I want to kill him and get his armor. And 
as soon as that's done, I think all I gotta do is the, I mean, the stasis suit project will be done by then. Avatar autopsy should only take a few days and then it's the final mission. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll definitely tomorrow night. Um, I don't know what time zones you're in. I'm on Pacific time, so... Warlock Raid should be tomorrow about... Uh, 5 or 6 p.m. Pacific time. You know what? Heck, I got. I haven't had an audience this big in a while. I, I'm just gonna go after the warlock. I'll just sleep in on my lunch break tomorrow. Nah, I can do this. I got time. It's only 14 enemies in the warlock. Avenger plotting new course. You guys peer pressured me into uh, one more mission. <laughs> okay, so I do want to bring my Reaper, because that is the warlock in this campaign's faction nemesis. Oh, I need I want this sniper though. Okay, we're gonna scan for Avenger, two days though. I need the sniper on the covert op. He's bonded with my Reaper. So a slight delay of a few seconds. At this point, I no longer care about the Avatar project. I'm going to hit that facility at one point anyway, but the war will be over before they ever fill it up again. Of course, that doesn't keep Bradford from interrupting me all the time about it. Okay, so let's go level him up, because that was the uh, covert op reward. Three Brigadiers. Oh, ah, I just paused the stream for a moment because of that load. I am playing long war classes, which do go up to Brigadier, one higher than Colonel. It takes forever to get him that high, though. So I don't know if... Man, these are all really good. The thing about Serial is it's kind of redundant right now, because I usually have him on height. So he's getting those beautiful Death From Above extra actions. <laughs> Might take a vote here. What do, you, do you guys think you should take Double Tap, Serial, or take Alpha Mike, Foxtrot, which is a really no-frills ability, but it, for additional damage. really tempted to take double tap. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, because I always, he has armor piercing ammo on him always. There's a lot of enemies that he's always just two or three hit points from killing with a standard shot. This would push him over to where, that if he kills him on high ground, he gets those extra shots again anyway. Alpha it is. And I do actually have enough points I could purchase one of the others. I 
can't believe I never gave him long watch. I might take double tap just because it's good insurance to use if there's an enemy. An enemy I can't kill in one shot from height. I can get that second shot. Only thing though is if you kill him with a double tap shot, I don't know if it triggers death from above on the second shot. Oh, it's a zero shot or zero turn cooldown. I'll take it. Oh man, you three Long War II campaigns? That must have took you about 150 years. <laughs> Mad props for that. Okay, so... Send some people out on this covert op, then we attack the Warlock. First thing I'm looking for is promotion rewards. Recover loot has a promotion. I, I have no need for engineers. I'm not doing that one even for a promotion. Plus it was 12 days. This is 9. Okay, what am I going to send? Sending this shinobi. If I get him to break a deer, I'll s I'm t taking him on the final mission. And just any old sergeant to fill this slot. Actually, he does have a bond mate. I should send his bond mate. Mort Vimo. Yeah, I'm glad to see all of you. Honestly, this is the most... I don't know how this happened, but normally I average one or two viewers. <laughs> Understood, Commander. My followers will appreciate the support of your soldiers. Okay, now let's go kill this warlock. Avenger plotting new course. Hi, Porin. This is the last chosen two on my campaign. Um, so, this is pretty much getting into the uh, final few chapters. Okay, where is Big Shot? Oh, he's up here now. Oh, well, thank you guys. I really do appreciate it. I mean, you guys managed to get me to play another mission tonight, too, so... <laughs> Otherwise, I was about to go to bed. Um, let's see, I want to send people with explosives because that is the Warlock's weakness this campaign. Be sending my technical. I'm gonna send his. Uh, this assault is bonded with him. Plus, I just upgraded his arc thrower, so. reason I'm giving him a mind shield is if anybody gets mind controlled 
he can use the arc thrower to paralyze him so I don't have to deal with him. If that if I if I need to do that. So if he has a mind shield, he'll be immune from getting mind control. Uh, let's see. I'm actually happy with his loadout. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I, I've been really wanting to kill this warlock for a while now. I've just been really busy this week, so this is the first day in like a week I've got to actually sit down and play. I might actually send my... I might send my Psy Operative. Actually, though, I need to send my Grenadier. His spawn mate. Give him a war suit. And somebody should carry blue screen rounds. And my ranger can shoot twice if he spends both actions shooting, so I like giving him the blue screen. I didn't think about that. Yeah, the Warlock... I never thought about that. Yeah, Templar are psionic as hell. I don't know why I never thought of that. <laughs> um, I kind of like bringing her along, though, because she's kind of like the... Uh, I think she has the most kills of anybody. I used that um, parry a lot, and, her, and I was lucky enough to get one with Bladestorm this campaign. Guys, I think I'm happy with this team. Either I'm getting tired or my sniper is so good at concealment, I couldn't even see him. He was right in front of my face. I was like, did I actually slot him in or not? I'm ready. I just, I always have a bad habit of before uh, facility assaults, golden path missions, or uh, chosen strongholds, I'm always like, okay, I do have the gear set correctly, right? <laughs> I always feel like I'm forgetting something. And this is Iron Man, so if I screw up, <laughs> I'm kind of stuck with it. I think this is good. Off they go. So far, I haven't been lucky enough to have uh, Reflect actually go off. Ah, crap. I meant to give a Mimic Beacon to my Ranger. I think I did. Like I said, I always feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, just a heads up, it might it might pause the stream temporarily. It seems to uh, do that at, at the first load of each mission I do. Usually only lasts like two or three seconds. Ah, crap, so I did forget the Mimic Beacon. Well, I just have to be extra sure to, uh, Alpha Strike them all. We're in 
position to end the chosen threat once and for all. Though I doubt it'll be easy. Advent isn't known for its forgiving nature, and we're setting out to destroy the last. I sometimes feel like these uh, mission today. loads towards the end of the campaign are longer than the mission themselves. <laughs> this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Okay, so I'm gonna press any key to to launch. Just a heads up, it might pause for two or three seconds for you guys. facilities so we have to assume the chosen know we're here that didn't stop us before and it won't stop us today you know what to do locking on to the chosen's energy signature uploading the coordinates now understood and I move out I'm gonna move my reaper up to the door I'm not gonna go through the door this turn yet Such arrogance. to step foot in this sacred temple and dare strike down a child of the gods You're and him and him, they both have ever vigilant. So I'll stack them up. She has insane movement, by the way, this campaign. I guess it doesn't say there, but she has something like. I think she might even have like 20 movement from uh, covert ops rewards and things like that. Right. And I'll move him up. No need to ask twice. Rolling out. He should have some decent sight lines from here. Probably not too great. It's not the big hangar door. It's two single doors. Hey, see, see you later, uh, small boober green. <laughs> I, every time I read a username out loud, I feel like I'm probably reading it wrong. <laughs> Reapers are always vigilant. Contact. No contact yet. If you the truth of this place, you would scurry back to the shadows where you were spawned. I'm gonna circle around this way, make sure this room is clear first. Okay, this back half looks clear. These guys are gonna hold tight for now. What I tend to, I do a lot of, might not be as exciting to watch, but I do a lot of scouting with the uh, Reaper on these uh, chosen strong. Ah, uh, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> I can't even think. Thanks for all the posi positive, uh, positive vibes, guys. Okay, I'll check this room next. Okay, so what I'll do is, he's gonna check this next room, and if it's clear, I can move this group into this room. Got it covered. My senses are I usually end up killing everything on the map. But what I try to do, I set out on these chosen havens. For you are the true Man, he talks more than Bradford. Um, I try to scout through if I can avoid a pot or two and not expend ordinance like grenades or anything. And save them for the uh, chosen room. I try to do that. We knew there'd be resistance Whoa, today. that was close. You know what to do. Actually, not too worried about those guys anymore. Oak says I am to obey. What I might. 
might do is... Hey, he's probably there for now. I do have uh, Gotcha, again, mod installed, which I highly recommend if you guys don't know about it. You probably already know about it. Let's you know if you'll activate a visible pod by moving in. That's what that exclamation point is. This is the first campaign I've used it on, and it's, uh, it's a real godsend. He's going to ever vigilant go. move up to here. Kind of a risky move. They shouldn't be able to get a shot before I move again, but I usually don't like to stand next to explodey things, but I think he'll be okay for this turn. Sure thing! And he's got ever vigilant, so I'll double move him to there. Over to there. The one thing she hasn't got is a Reaper. I wish she had a Reaper. And this guy... I'll get him in close. I forgot all about him. <laughs> Move him Come up. On. And I'm gonna go ahead and scout him over I here. It sure. looks clear enough and safe. Plus, they will stay marked because I did take um Roger. target definition. Close the door, everybody else is going to run up and stack on the door, and next turn I think I'm going to engage them. Well, this is my sixth or seventh campaign that I played through, and you're, there's always something to learn in this game. Just when you think you got it all figured out, too, you can always download a mod Come that on. changes everything. <laughs> wow. <laughs> In one stream. Well, the first few... Like, I I'd say up okay. to uh, March... Actually, more like up to June in-game time. It's always really tough. It just looks easier at this point of the game because you have Moving. super god soldiers. Let's go. I really should have put him up by the door, not one of them. He's got that close combat specialist. Stepping off. Begins. Hold on. I, am on watch. On I should have moved my Reaper again. I don't know why I left him there. Well, I know what I'm doing. Well, actually, I don't know if I want to do that. They'll multiply into 
You do not deserve the elders' attention. I'm gonna do it. They're just gonna multiply into a group of eight, one and two hit point enemies. Always observe your surroundings. I don't think I've ever multiplied an entire pot of codexes before. Okay, he's got two flanked, but I actually am going to shoot the one with the 48% chance, because he does have a stock, a superior stock, so it should do three damage on a miss. Or he could just hit it for 15 damage. And rangers and long war classes uh, don't end their turn with their first shot. Go for the far away one. He's down. I wonder if Nah. It's too bad I could get two and one. I'm gonna have her go for this guy because he's the furthest Fight away. Start building up that sweet focus. Okay, what are we down to? These two. You notice when they all, it's just a bunch of guys with one or two hit points, every one of your hits seem to always be criticals. <laughs> Why can't I just get nothing but criticals when it's like a party of sectopods or whatever? Go to that full cover. I think you're right, because that's only... I just killed four. Why am I not getting line of sight on that bastard? It's three hit points. I think this has superior stock as well. It does. I'm gonna go ahead and use a run and gun. Location confirmed. Only the best. So I'm not even gonna have to use the uh, parry this turn. I'll just go over and get to full focus. So she's in monster mode now. I sort of just want to dash him to there, but I'm not 100% sure if that's totally safe yet. safe than sorry. There's no time limit on this mission, so I shouldn't be dashing around as much. It's kind of reckless. But I will move him to there. He needs his grappling hook next turn to get up to a position. I think it's safe that way, but... Oh. Standing by. So that's four enemies down out of four... Just had to catch fire. When you can hunker down, we'll 
fix that, so. I will let you die quickly today. Oh, no problem. I'm just, you know, when this many people show up, I would have been crazy and a party pooper to just go to bed. <laughs> okay, it looks safe up to there according to my Reaper, so I'm gonna move him up. Order's confirmed. On the move. Then hunker down. In position. At least he caught fire at the beginning of the turn, so he didn't actually take damage. Ever vigilant move to here. There's my ranger, he's over here. We're on our way! Actually that was a bit risky. Forgot to double check that okay, they're closed. Good sight lines of the rest of the room. Yeah. Watch the movement. Ah, it sounds like they just came in through that door behind me. For only when you fall, yep. XCOM, shall your race be saved, an entire world and all its peoples given to me, left to my tender mercies. An alien scouting party. There is nowhere to hide. I could just avoid these guys. We'll see. Though why do that? So you can do 12 to 18 with their Ionic Storm now, which is really tempting to just do right here. This is going to be dumb, but I'm going to do it. If things get out of hand, her bond mate can My do teamwork. The nice thing with Ionic Storm is each kill you get refunds instantly. Or refunds your focus, I mean. The same fate for all servants of the elders. Got an advanced laser sight. <laughs> oh yeah, Blade Storm. How can I forget? She's basically the MVP of this whole campaign. And he went in sustain, so he's toast. Can I get you to... Okay, I'll just run him to there on Overwatch. Ready to fire. And just to be sure, he gets killed. Ever vigilant okay, move. Hey, where's my ranger? This will guarantee will kill that line of sight to him. He has a stock, so even if he misses, when the uh, priest leaves the stain, he's he's toast. I'm just going to start moving people this way to come in that way. Right at the edge now? Looks like we got one more layer of rooms to go through. I'm on it. I'm on it. Get 
get him set up to scout in that room next. Alright, so that's eight enemies down out of fourteen that were projected. So I, I imagine there's two pods left, probably one in the uh, transport room. Possibly another roaming around. Moving out. I can have, looks like I can just avoid that room. So it's either gonna be up here or up here. I'll go ahead and move up to here, oh, see if I spot anything. An alien patrol. The target is okay, six enemies left. There's two right there, so the last four are going to be in the transport room, which looks like it's there. That's Yeah, that's the floor that they have in there. And... I hate wasting an entire action to take one step, but now she's back in full focus. Vigilant move to here with him. Yeah. Where's my ranger at? There he is. Move up. Right. On my way. Copy that. This is my fourth campaign of uh, War of the Chosen, and I gotta say, each successive campaign, every time I play, I'm like, this is the strongest Templar I've ever had. Next campaign, I get a different one, I'm like, this is the strongest one now. Um, and that tradition, I think this is my deadliest uh, Templar I've had. Yes, yeah, more your dead brother. You're next. Might end up having to use a teamwork on her because she doesn't have uh um why, why can I not think of the name? Perry. Oh wait, yeah she does. What am I thinking? She just yeah, well it's Perry. Like you said, a little tired. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you don't get you don't get uh Perry from a rend? That's only from Ionic. Oh wait, no, it's the other way around. My brain's shutting down. Go, go, go! Luckily I have these people are just super soldiers at this point, so. Orders received. Even if I mess up, <laughs> their skills end up winning the day. I really need to he's the only sniper I think I've ever had that I haven't given long watch to. And it would have been really useful right here. This way. Copy that. Roger. I got you. And 
I'll send him over to scout. I should get a, get a good view on the uh, transport room now. Or not. Oh, that's not a... Wait. Is that just a wall? That's rendering like... That's the door, I guess. Why can't I see through this stupid wall? XCOM, you're weird sometimes. Watch close Stay close oh yeah, and I have tactical analysis, uh, resistance order in effect, so... I really don't care about stasis. It's like, oh, you're not going to hurt my person. Do a rapid fire. It's two shots. They'll probably both miss, but it'll be a uh, six damage because of the stock. Plus, he has hollow targeting, which will make it an easier shot for the next people. Evidently, uh, I guess that ended up being six anyway. But I guess the stock doesn't uh, proc on rapid fire misses. I did not know that. Let's go. At least hollow targeting did though. Huh. I could just combat protocol and kill him, but let's see how this plays out. Do another run and gun. Actually, that's not flanked from here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a little closer. Solid copy. Except I have no line of sight. That was really dumb. You can all laugh and make fun of me for that move. That was dumb. <laughs> Okay, 50-50, you can do this. Coin flip. You're out of the family. That is not good. I will reposition. Oh, this'll do it. I don't think he can sustain twice, so... He did sustain already, right? My memory only goes back five seconds anymore. I'm gonna go for this, because if it's a kill, there's a chance to reveal zero, because I did take, um... Silent Killer. Well... Oh well, I can still turn it turn invisible one, one more time. Okay, I'll have him run up, because it'll count as ever vigilant. works too. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so the last four enemies should be in the, the uh, transport room. Is the door into that room. I just hate that that wall is not rendering. <laughs> I really thought because of the shape of that it was one of those hangar door type. Roger. Rolling out. And I guess I'll ever vigilant move to there. further. Come on. Move. I wouldn't normally end outside of okay. cover, but he should be safe there. left. Okay. Actually, it's there. Service. We'll open the door next turn. He should be Roger. out of line of sight if he's there when the door opens. Same with her being over there. On the move. I'll stack up on this door for a turn-based SWAT-style entry. <laughs> And uh, full cover blocks line of sight, so if he's there, he can't see that way, they can't see that way. Roger. Sometimes you get lucky on these uh, last rooms. There's usually a big acid barrel in each one that could be a uh, remote started by your Reaper. They have a patrol moving here. The time for hiding is over. You can get one of them with it. Okay, you step back from the I door a little bit. Me. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't remote start it. <laughs> I just shot it. I should have drank coffee before this one. Now we fight in the open. And that was a really bad position. And now he's just going to run in place. That's an interesting uh, tactic. Evidently, uh, Advent waxes the floors really well. Okay, so I need to kill these guys before he's all out of Phantom. I'm going to do this double tap. Targeting on the purifier. I'll 
get plus 10 aim. I believe he can do this. Beautiful. Oh man. Okay, so we just have this guy and this guy left. You know what, I'm actually going to try to just skull mine this guy, get some intel reward possibly. Whoa! This is imitation of a Shoryuken from Street Fighter. <laughs> you guys are much too kind. <laughs> Believe me, when I hear my voice on the playbacks, I'm always like, oh my god, that's what I sound like. But I think everybody says that about their own voice. You will pay the price. Transport portal directly ahead. Updating coordinates now. Yeah, Got we, it. Let's go. <laughs> we don't need to update coordinates, Tygen. Like we're staring right at it. Sir. Tuck it down, direct hit. Okay, that should be everybody. Going. So now I can just move everybody up onto the pad, and I usually wait a few turns just to recharge all of their uh, cooldown abilities, reload all weapons, and then I teleport in. And I did actually quite well. I didn't use any grenades, any rockets, um, didn't use any one-time use abilities, so I'll be facing the Warlock with everything except for Phantom. That's the only thing I ended up using. Well, thank you, guys. You're, like I said, you're much too kind. Not a problem. Did he really only shoot once? This whole I, I must have reloaded at some point. Ready to go. The salter really not pulling his weight. Hoping at some point in this uh, upcoming room, I do have Banish with a repeater. I set up this gun specifically for killing the stupid warlock. I hate that guy. I figure if uh, the repeater's ever going to actually work for me, it's got to be on a Banish attack with a superior extended magazine. Usually, though, my luck with the repeater, <laughs> I feel like every execution, it's when they have one or two hit points left. Ready for it. I did manage to execute uh, the uh, Berserker Queen on this playthrough. But she had two hit points left when it happened. Only time I've ever executed an alien ruler. <laughs> and he has free reload, so I'm, he's the only guy I'm not going to reload his gun. Watch my back. Okay, I think they're all set. Everybody's guns are reloaded. Looks like everything is off of cooldown. Well, two turns on that. So move him up. We'll do. Moving them now. And 
and I'll skip one more turn, and now we'll use the platform. We've been here before. Brace for transport. And of course, the uh, loading screen. It's like a commercial break. <laughs> I wish I had that phantom still activated. Because there's usually two guards right when you get in the room, and I usually am able to set them up with my Reaper so that everybody can, uh, I can start the battle off with the uh, sniper, the squad site. But I think I think I could take two guys on. <laughs> Especially if this team. I don't fall asleep first watching the hypno troopers on the screen. With their Roman salute of sleep. I just imagine a bunch of little advent troopers are disassembling the level and reassembling the stage for the next act. They have like a uh, boom mics and things and lighting they gotta move about. They could save a lot of time if they uh, green screened it. <laughs> coming next. Very good little humans. Come to me. Like a moth to a flame will you be consumed by my brilliance. This might activate the first group. Yep. That's not so bad. No place for you to go now. With the hunter it was uh, two Andromedons, which is really annoying. <laughs> I do have chain shots, so... Oh, with this guy. Sure. So I have him run up. I actually get a rapid target already on this guy. Get plus 10 aim to everybody. Should help with his... I think... He... If, if he uh, pulls... If he plays his cards right, Mjolnir here can... Uh, Hopefully, kill this guy with the chain shot. If it weren't for the graze mechanic, that is. <laughs> In the miss mechanic, the most controversial of them all. <laughs> a fantastic camera angle. If you advance too far in the level, the Warlock shows up. I want to kill these two guys before that happens. Probably have her rent because she'll kill a sec toy because uh, they take double damage from melee. 
Affirmative. Moving out. I like the head odds. <laughs> Look at that. Good riddance. And she'll be she might activate the warlock doing this, but at least she can go into um, into uh, parry. And I lucked out. Excellent. So if nobody advances past there, he won't show up this turn. Which means I can get some of them up here onto uh, cover. I think these look like the spawn platforms for the reinforcements, so... Come on! I think he's got eyes on those two, and I think he can see half of that one from there, possibly. Solid copy. one of them at the back of the platform in case he peers back there. I don't think he will. Is that... Okay, I think I'm going to cheese one turn just to get this. I'll have everybody overwatch. Reload their guns. I'm sure the docks will want to see this. We're green to go. Watch. I'll keep it under watch. Roger. Come get some. Ready for action? Sounds good to me. Actually, I probably should have did steady weapon on him. Roger. Roger that. Okay, now. I'm trying to think. Who do I want to run up there? I don't want to move her up, because with her movement, as he can... Wow, she covers the whole room she can double dash to from this point. So I'm not going to move her. She should be able to rend anybody unless they appear at... Oh, that's a pillar. There's literally two squares she can't reach right now. Three. Oh, that's a pillar. Okay, you're going to set the trap off. I'm on the move. That's always how it turns out with these games. That one more turn syndrome. If only you knew the truth. The power in my hands. You would fall to your knees before me. Pity. I suppose we should begin then. Can you imagine them, Bradford and the Warlock having a political debate? All right, Menace, you know what to do. It, it's just do endless die, monologuing. At last, the humans speak the truth. Okay, I'm refreshing my mind here. He's been a bit of a coward. I haven't faced him in like four or five missions. He does have Planeswalker, which is actually not bad sometimes. Like, he's at full cover there. I'm going to try to hit him with a... Actually, I'll just start with a grenade. Shred some armor, and he'll teleport, hopefully somewhere bad. Bad for him. Okay, this guy is shred, so I like the positioning on this. 
Roger, sir. Okay, his armor's gone. It's on cooldown. And I think he had the ability where he shoots back if you miss. Chance to return fire against miss shots. I'm gonna go for it. But maybe I should, uh, nah, just go for it. Nice shot. I'm trying. So you have learned at least one tactic. I'm not sure you have the talent to properly wield that weapon. Okay. It's a flank shot from height. And this, um, by assault on this playthrough on the wild card track of his abilities, I was able to purchase precision shot. Which increases your critical chance by 30. Um, so, he has, he's gonna, he's gonna crit. And the hair trigger went off. Beautiful. Unfortunately, he is immune to melee. She could melee him, but that'd be a waste. <laughs> Okay, he has a stock, so... You can see him from there. All he's got to do is shoot at him. Very impressive, Warlock. functions in a similar fashion to the capacity we encountered previously. We know, Tygen. This isn't our first rodeo. This is literally the third time we've done this, this campaign. Yes, Doctor. Let's blow it to hell. Roger. This is going to seem silly, but I'm going to... Well... thought about running him to there because of his close combat thing, but... I think it's better to put him on Overwatch. He can... Whatever spawns in from that point in his run and gun, he should be able to go and help deal with whatever spawns. And I guess I will her up just to take a shot with her little wimpy gun. Can she see it from there? Okay. 
the off chance they spawn on that platform and run this way, she'll blade storm them. Always a Dramanons, the ultimate in bullet sponge technology. Target still up. This is really where the Templar will come into her own on this battle, because she can go uh, melee that. Andromedon and parry it, it'll distract. They always attack the closest person to him, so if she can reach him. Ah, she actually can't. Hmm. I think this might be a good time for uh, teamwork. Yeah. Reasonable. Reloading. Okay, he's gonna get one action to her. Don't give up. bond mates. Rend. Light strike surges forward. Only the armor. So on his turn, he'll pr most definitely 99% chance attack her, and she'll just parry it. I shall reload and shoot. Are you kidding me? Nice! The hair trigger went off. This is not your lucky day. Okay, since the Templar theoretically has the Adromon on tie down, I'm going to use this rapid fire to get two hits on the uh, sarcophagus. If I knew he would hit for sure. Because when it's in its second form that's melee only, that I know. Oh, if it tries to run or do anything, she'll blade storm it anyway. Does anyone here know if uh, Banish works on the Sarcophagus? I'm actually not going to waste it because it's that low of health right now, but that might have been what I should have done was used Banish. He can do it this turn. I'm going to do it. With the capacitor damaged, the regeneration yeah, so he'll come back for only 68% of his normal life. But he will have his armor regenerated, which is annoying. You know what to do. Take that creature down. On my way! For extra insurance, I'm going to arc pulse it. 
and it'd take the per long war perk that if it misses, it disorients the target. Ride the lightning. <laughs> Just gonna tank that. He is literally the most melodramatic enemy of any game I think I've ever played in my life. <laughs> and I saved the blaster launcher. Can I actually? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? A blue move over here. I will always find you. And I'm going to reload. reload. Full magazine. And now her bond mate, wherever he is, oh, that was him, will give advanced teamwork. Works for me. And now she, he's going to use banish. Even with the armor, I mean, seven shots that do, okay, ten damage minimum, five armor, so it'll be 35 damage minimum, with a 20% chance to execute on each hit. Oh, well, they're not 100% chance to hit either. Ah, go for it. Finally got an execution on a Chosen. I'm sure if I fought him earlier in the campaign, it would have been a lot more dramatic, but it wasn't he really easy, felt like a pushover. It off, Commander. If only we could see the look on the Elders' faces. be missed. <laughs> oh, I wanted to kill the Andromedon. I guess he surrendered. I think this one's actually worth a poster. Put in rest in peace, warlock boy. <laughs> you wrote his epitaph. <laughs> hey, no problem. And I wouldn't have been able to come up with a better epitaph, so... <laughs> Gotta get everybody in a good uh, action pose.
Gotta have one guy just hulking out. Thank you guys for watching tonight. I definitely, as soon as uh, they return to the Avenger, I'm going to need to hit the hay. <laughs> but that was a big victory for XCOM. The final Chosen is down, which really opens up the last few uh, dominoes to be knocked over for the uh, final main enemy base attack. I definitely will. This is, like I said, I have not had that many streamers at once, or people following the stream at once. I think my record before this was like three people. <laughs> to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. We are grateful to the elders. What's nice is nobody even got wounded. Which really doesn't say much for the Warlog, because the Hunter almost killed my best uh, specialist in one shot. And the Assassin, of course I had less... Uh, I just got Predator armor at, the, at that time, and she put like four people in the hospital. As I said earlier, I sometimes feel like these load screens are longer than the actual missions. <laughs> oh, I definitely recommend it. It's a, uh, it's a really Work good game. There, Commander. The elders are going to be pissed about losing their favorite puppet. And some trivia, the voice of Volk is, uh, the guy who is Commander Riker on Star Trek The Next Generation. And I get his rifle, which is good loot. Efficiently executed and no casualties. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. Okay, well on that note guys, I really do need to go to bed now. <laughs> Though I don't know, I could assault that, I'm kidding. <laughs> but until next time guys, I might be on tomorrow night as well. It depends how 